Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So welcome to another daily video. Now, what I want to do in this video is I want to test some things out because recently I've been getting a lot of comments asking me about team building for Golem Speed 10. You know, they, uh, I've been getting comments on YouTube and also on Discord. People post me their box and ask me, you know, if I have these units, what team should I make for Golem Speed 10? Now, yesterday I was trying out some things with my Fire Jin and I actually, um, I found some things that were pretty interesting. I was trying this... I did this run where I did Fire Jin, Fire Persephone, and two Light Victorias. And I realized that you can actually do Golem's V10 with two Light Tanks and no uh, no healers at all, basically. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to try out some no healer strats for Golem's V10 and see if it works. Now, um, if I test out with just my units, it won't be 100% fair. I'll do one run with this first. Um, but I think the reason why it's not fair is because I actually do have one of my late Vix on Siphon, on full Siphon. Um, recently got her to full, well, she was missing like one gem, but I, I actually got her to full Siphon now. So she's on triple defense, full Siphon. Um, yeah, really quite nice, but it's not really fair for me to use her um, on Siphon because... You know, not everyone has has the siphoning gems, but I think in theory it should definitely work if you put her on like a protection set with triple defense just to do enough damage. Um, so I'm gonna do one run with this light Victoria, then I'll actually switch her out. I'll I'll use some of my friends' monsters and we'll we'll test some things out. I think there's a few light Victorias here we might be able to use, and yeah, we'll just we'll just do one run first, and then we'll we'll test out some other runs with like you know maybe. Um, you know, no fire purse and like two water mihos or something like that, because I can borrow some friends' monsters to do that. Hmm, I was hoping to get a four moonflower wave to see how well it does. But I think the reason why this works so well is because the light Victorias, they're since they're aggressors, they do quite a lot of damage. And your two other sappers um, are built on full attack. I'll show the gems right after, right after um, the runs. But basically, you don't need any special gems. All you really need to do is make sure your sappers are on, are on like just 100% full glass cannon build, either triple attack valor or like triple attack intuition, or crit rate, um, double attack, ruin or something like that. Or if you can't put them on siphon, it'll be it'll be even more disgusting. Oh man, no full bar during boss wave. Sad. All right, three of my guys have their AOEs up. Should be able to sap this boss pretty good. Now. The challenge here um, for, for running a team like this is to kill the boss before he kills you. So I think that's why Sap is so good because if you can constantly stack Sap on the boss, he's going to die really, really fast. And he also doesn't do too much damage with this this little combo thing. Like when he's like, he basically activates this when, when you drop him over, I think over around 40% health, um, like less than 40% health, he does that little AoE. A little bit annoying. Ooh, this was a pretty close run. I, I'm i not sure if I can make this 100%. Uh, that was actually really, really bad RNG with the with the whole armor break and stuff. But but the, the Light Victoria on, like, you know, full defense was actually able to survive. So I, I think that might not be too bad. Another way you could actually do this is if you put your, like, your... Um, your attackers on maybe not like fully give them one attack gem, but maybe something like a triple attack um, protection or life set to boost like 20% HP. It might actually be enough. So I actually do have a friend that um, that has a water miho on on one slot HP, and we can actually test that out. So this is yeah, this is Swalix, this miho uh, with double attack. I think pretty high crit rate. 13% here, 7% here, 14.5% with 13% attack. So it's, it's definitely pretty nice. Um, 
So I think we can do, we can try like double Miho Victoria. This actually might work. So, you know, no, no fire purse. Um, and this, I think this Miho is almost fully skilled up. It's completely skilled up. So, you know, it should, should do pretty well, I think. All right, we finally got a Moonflower. Or well, some Moonflowers on wave one. Pretty much got one-shotted. Uh, my second Victoria is on full, like, just full protection. So she, she actually does quite a lot of damage. They left the Moonflower alive. Ooh, and she crit. Mm, this might be risky. I'm just doing some tests. See if this works. If it doesn't work, then, you know, that's too bad. Well, I think that might actually be a fail run. Dang, I, I think I know what the problem is. I'm missing a bit of damage. I honestly think the second Miho on HP doesn't hit hard enough. I think I really think that's the problem. Cause um Cause like if if it hit hard enough on one of the side waves, it should have killed one of the units on the side. And then the Moonflower would have been targeted by, by some other monster, like some other unit. Um, and then she would have died on wave one. So, I don't know. I think I need I need enough damage to basically, like... The, the Light Vic can nearly one-shot one of the units. So basically, I need to... I need to have my other Sappers have enough damage to basically, like, just completely one-shot one of the side units, um, if possible. We'll try this again. Um, I can't use the water miho anymore, but I'm not sure who else we can use. I think we're out. Maybe, maybe instead of using one sapper, like, um, do we have a strong dark mona? I think a lot of people have dark mona. Probably try some things out. That's a crit rate, pretty high crit rate, 14% crit rate. All right, so about 70-80% crit rate Dark Mona. Uh, I was thinking maybe to make it stable, instead of using two sappers, have one like straight out nuker to make sure like you always kill something on one of the waves. That actually might might make things more stable. Ooh, the Mona just completely one-shot one of the units. Actually, it might work. Ooh, and she also has morale boost, so, you know, it can clear the waves pretty fast. A lot of people do actually have Dark Monas from the event before. So I think it actually might work, something like this. Cause basically if she crits with her second skill, she'll 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 like wipe everything. The problem comes with the boss stage of if you can kill the boss fast enough. So I'm not sure if uh Dark Mona will be able to do that. Since I only have one sapper. I think of Golden Speed 10 as juggling, like, you you have to cover all your bases one way or another, because if you don't, uh, you know, you just, you die somewhere, you know. This actually might work pretty well. This is looking pretty good. 
Too bad we can only do one test run. My Dark Mono doesn't have a score slot, so she's... Like, both my Dark Monos are really, really shitty. Nowhere near as good as this Dark Mona. Um... Yeah, that was pretty good. That was actually really nice. Maybe if there was like an Evil 3 Water Valk or some shit like that, that would be pretty crazy. Probably use that as well. Hmm. What else can we use? It has to be like some straight out nuker. It can't it can't be some Maybe I can borrow another Dark Mona. This one's on intuition. HP career ARS. This this is not gonna work. Oh wait, I can try Fire Succubus. I have I have her. She's basically just another glass cannon nuker. Um, crit rate double attack as well. And she has she also has armor break, which actually is pretty nice for the boss. So we can actually try this. But she doesn't have that much damage. Like she doesn't have as much damage as the Dark Mona with her first skill. So I'm not sure if she can one shot um, one of the units in the wave on wave one. Yeah, she doesn't really hit too hard. Actually, it's not too bad. But where the Dark Mona already has like a full bar, she won't. Um, she won't get get the full bar until until the fourth turn, basically. Whereas, where, whereas the Dark Mona can get her bar full on either the second or third turn. If if you're using a unit with morale boost. If this works well, I can actually try this team. But I'll, I'll take out my Siphon Light Vic and I'll use another Vic that doesn't have Siphon. Ooh, the armor break seems pretty nice. Ooh, this is a lot of damage. Dang, is there is there a morale boost nuker that has armor break? Wood Banshee. A water mona actually does have armor break as well. You know that might actually work. Dude, I think armor break I I think I'm onto something. Should have one sapper, one armor breaker. It's a minute 40 something. Interesting. Hmm. If you can have one sapper, one armor breaker. Might make things pretty stable. Damn, who wants to be a guinea pig and raise a water mona for me? You like six star Evo 3, like completely maxed out. Like have her on like I don't know. Crit rate. Double attack ruin or something. Um, let's check these light vix. Ooh, this one's on leech. This is triple defense leech. All right, this one's too squishy. All right, this one's way too squishy. Um. Looks like we're gonna have to use this. I mean, it's on leash, but it doesn't have like full maxed out gems, so it won't be able to solo tank. So I'm gonna use like two light Victorias. But if you have like a light Victoria on leash, um, you I think it's only really uh, it's only really worth it to use a light Victoria on leash if you're planning to use her to solo tank and then putting putting in three units because if you do it like this you're better off just using two victorias on protection set because they'll just do more damage and kill like whatever is on wave one faster this actually creates more risk because if you don't have enough damage you won't kill the moonflowers on wave one and um yeah it just makes everything a lot a lot more dangerous but i'll also try it i'll see see how well it does
She's not doing too much damage. I think it, it's the like Victoria. She was missing a little bit of damage, but it, it's actually fine. It's not too bad. But if RNG was bad, the the uh, the Moonflower would have gotten her AOE off just now. Hey, having armor break is actually pretty nice. Alright, this is way overkill. Ah, oh, shit. None of them have a full bar. Alright, we'll see. We'll see what happens in, like, worst case RNG scenario. Because right now we're we're honestly racing against time. Because I have no sustain at all, so I basically I need to kill the boss like as fast as I possibly can. This might be a fail run. Ooh, shit, Miho died and Succubus got silenced. Okay, this is really bad. This is horrible. Oh, if, if the if the other Light Victoria was on protection, on uh, max out gems, this boss would be dead by now. I think it works. In theory, it should work, but you need, like, completely... Like, you can't have one unit that's, like, not perfect. You need to have, like, everything completely maxed out on the right set. You don't have to have Dragon Gens, but you need to have, like, you know, like, all your Victorias need to be on Protection. Um, all your HP Aggressors need to be on, you know, Life, Triple HP. And then all your Attackers need to be on, like, Ruin, Double... Uh, double attack crit rate or like, you know, triple attack valor or something like that. It's kind of the only way you can make this work. Can't, can't use mediocre gems. I think of Golden B10 as juggling. Like, if you have one thing that isn't perfect, like, everything just falls apart. Um... All right, I think we're out of we're out of shit to test. You know, we also have. Um, I could also try something. I mean, I could probably solo tank with my light suck. Well, I have actually been able to solo tank with my, with my light suck. Um, Hmm. We're gonna try the nuker strat. Can't do a solo tank. Damn, I wish someone had a light Venus. You know what I was actually thinking? Um, if this actually works so well, you probably don't even need a a healer, like a passive healer. Cause I was I, I did the spotlight before with the with the light gem Gemini. Um it was pretty stable with like my two light Victorias, but then one of them was also on Siphon, so I can't really say for sure. Um, but the only way you can keep her alive is is by having like three light units split up the damage, and that actually slows down your runs. So I think if you just use two light units on like built perfectly, they should actually be able to. You should be actually be able to make a pretty pretty stable, pretty solid. Um, Golden Speed 10 team. But this is actually really interesting. I, if I use a an armor breaker with a sapper instead of just a sapper, it actually might be better. You know, I can actually test out this team. I'll see if this... Oh wait, I was using something like this before. But my... my I don't think my Light Victoria has, is strong enough to solo tank. They might do enough damage to, to kill something though. 
We'll see if this works. If I can, like, wipe everything in turn one, and then Jin gets his bar full, and then I'll just kill everything in turn two. It's kind of risky, actually. You know what would work? Is if all four units were on Siphon. Because um, if all of them were on Siphon, then on two, on turn two, someone's going to get their AoE off for sure. And then something's going to die. I was trying two Sappers. This actually might be faster. But I don't think it's stable. Oh shit, Jin got one shot. Ah, uh, so close. We almost, we almost... Damn it, if he didn't die, we would have killed the boss. Oh, uh, before he got the stupid AoE off. If the boss chose to hit someone else instead, whatever. So close. Minute 27 seconds. Alright, actually that was pretty shitty. Hmm. Let's do another test run. I want to see, see if this works. My feet are completely numb. You guys have no fucking idea. Okay, I need one more attacker on Siphons. It's like the only way. No, I need an armor breaker on uh, on Siphon. Probably like a wood banshee. It actually might work better than fire suck. Then she could get her bar full. Actually, no, I need water valk evil 3 on Siphon. That's what I need. Because she has predator on first skill, so she'll do enough damage to basically charge up her bar to completely full. Aw, oh, shit. It's not as good. I don't think um, the armor break strat is that good. Because you have to wait one extra turn before the armor break actually takes effect. Um, because the armor break is kind of applied right after. So it actually might be better just to use another sapper, I think. It was it was all right in theory, but it's if I wanted to be even faster, I think it I I should just use two sappers instead. Something like this. What if I focus the boss? Can I get some like really, really fast runs? We'll say like this is the best case scenario. They they all like the water purse, the fire purse decide to hit the boss or some shit like that.
Oh shit, he still got his AoE off. That was sad. Minute 20, it doesn't seem like that much of an improvement. I even had to focus the boss as well. I think it's the water miho, like she doesn't have enough damage. If I had like two evil three fire purse, that'd be a different story. They they would like their that AoE would just kill the things on the side, you know? You know I'm tempted to do it. Like if I pull one more purse, I'm tempted to like feed two water purse into the fire one. To get like the fastest B10 run. I'm very, very tempted. Jin doesn't really even do that much. Like he does the AoE to clear, but you can actually do it do what he does if you just have like another sapper on siphon. Like a full attack sapper on siphon. But there's only one unit, one sapper unit in the game with high enough damage, and that's that's fire purse. So I basically need three fire purse. Like that's what that's what I need. I need three fire purse all evil three. <laughs> to to make like the fastest uh fastest run for B10. Alright, now that I think about it, that sounds really, really dumb. Anyways, that, that is pretty much it. I just wanted to do some test runs for B10. Um, this is no in no way a guide. I just wanted to show some things because I you know I have I have some units um, that I, that can run B10 pretty well. I also have some um, you know some friends with certain units that might help in B10. I think the the thing with the Mona was actually pretty nice. Like you use two light tanks. And then like a one's just straight out nuker to help you clear the wave, and then just one one sapper it actually makes things pretty stable, I think. So yeah, that that's that's pretty much it. It might actually work with a water mona. I need someone to raise a because I'm not doing it. All right, I, I don't have the resources to do that. Someone someone please raise a six star water mona. Get her on like max gems, like you know, completely maxed out. We can try that again. Um, anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, just want to make a just kind of just just for fun video, do a little bit of testing, a um, little bit of theory craft and stuff. So, well, this isn't theory craft. We're actually doing actual testing. Um, but yeah, I'll. I think by tomorrow, I should I should have already moved into a new place. Wait, did I talk about me moving? Or I'll talk about it now. Um, <laughs> I, I'm I'm currently in the middle of moving. That's why I have this temporary um, setup. If you guys are confused in any way, um, and yeah, I, I already found a place. I'm about to move in very very soon. Um, this afternoon. It's currently the morning right now. Well, it's actually noon right now. But I'll be moving in this afternoon. And uh, I I have my PC parts, but I don't have a PC case. So there's one or two things I can do. I can temporarily set up my PC. Um, just, you know, kind of just on the table, like I'll put the motherboard, like just plug the graphic card in and, uh, you know, just, just use it like that, um, you know, for, for like one or two days until I get a PC case or I can continue to use my laptop and wait until, uh, you know, wait until I get my PC, but I, I probably don't have that much patience, but I gotta be careful. I, I've heard some horror stories about, you know, static electricity destroying your, your PC, um, if you just plug in and use it like that, so I'm not too sure. I'm I'm a little bit scared because I I can't have my PC like fucking breaking down or anything like that. Um, but anyways, that is pretty much it. So probably tomorrow I'll have I'll be I'll either be on my PC or I'll continue to use my laptop. Um, probably will be on my PC. There's there's no way I can wait. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.